name is David Lovejoy. I'm going to be talking a little bit about McDonald's and the global challenges they that they face. Um, start off a little history on McDonald's. Uh, it was founded by Richard and Maurice McDonald, and they built hamburger stands in California. Sold hamburgers for really cheap. Uh, eventually developed and uh, grew and became the McDonald's fast food franchise that we know today. So some of the challenges that McDonald's faced uh, when they went for the globalization strategy is adjusting their menu and their food and their taste preferences depending on what country and area they were in. So currently they have 34,000 restaurants worldwide and they're in 118 different countries and they serve nearly 69 million people each day. The success that they get and have has come from an attention to what will work in a country and what won't. Uh, some of the things that they've done is introduce a vegetarian Big Mac um, and that's because some people in the countries that they're in they don't eat beef um, it's a religious type thing and another one is really is a taste preference it's adjusting like either how sweet something is how spicy it is um, different proteins is also a big thing and that's one of the big reasons they've become so successful Another one of the big challenges that McDonald's faces is their food in general. Um, more so recently, a lot of people have come out and talk about the healthiness of their food and what all they put on it and stuff like that. Um, but they, pr they promote their food as nutritious, but we all really know it's just really junk food. It's high in fat, sugar and salt, low in fiber and vitamins. And a diet of this type is linked to a greater risk of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and other diseases. Their food also contains a lot of chemical additives, some of which that could cause uh, ill health, hyperactivity in children. And meat is actually the cause of major food poisoning incidents. In 1991, McDonald's were responsible for an outbreak of food poisoning in the UK in which a lot of people suffered serious kidney failure. With the modern intensive farming methods, other disease linked to chemical residues or unnatural practices have become a big danger to their customers as well. So the way that McDonald's is able to combat their challenges in the global marketplace is as far as the menu adjusting goes, they've done a lot of market research and testing for customers' taste preferences in different regions and judging by their culture. They, they've taken that information that they've got and they really integrated it into their menu in the international market and it's worked really well for them because they pay close attention to customers needs as far as the health options go what they've done is they're offering healthier options for the customers uh, side salads fruits vegetables um, they've also got rid of their supersize option for their fries and their drinks and they've also started to kind of partner a little bit with firms such as Weight Watchers uh, and integrate their point system into some of their menu items um, to offer healthier options for customers that are looking for something a little bit better for themselves.